You're listening to the Sound Creator Podcast, the show that brings you deep diving analysis and conversations covering my world of field recordings, sound design, and sound effects. I'm Cedric Black, your host. Thank you for being you. Thank you for showing up. And most of all, thank you for listening. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Welcome back. And uh, first of all, I would like to wish everyone a happy belated Easter. I know that it's a we're here into a few days after Easter now. And hopefully everyone had a great Easter, spent time with family and friends and made Easter what is what it was supposed to be about. So welcome back to the show this week. And I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to bring you. I'm glad to be able to bring you another show. Let me say it. Let me say it that way. I'm always happy to share things that I've done, share my creations. And this show is called the Sound Creator Podcast. And it is a it, it, it is a podcast about sound and not just any sound, actually all sounds basically. And and the sounds that I create, uh, as for uh, the sounds that I create for my work, uh, all sounds that are related to media, movie, filming, TV, film, and TV. They say that, and it's an extension of my. Um, it's an extension of my Instagram videos that I share with everyone that shows me creating sounds and sort of my process of what I'm using and, and how I'm actually creating these sounds. And uh, the podcast show is just an extension of that is where I just talk a little bit more about uh, what was important to me uh, when creating those sounds and a little story behind the sound. But before we start, I, I, I wanted to uh, incorporate something new. I don't know if this would be a a, a weekly uh, part of the show, but this week I, I I wanted to start off by acknowledging a couple of I received a couple of emails about the show, and I did respond back to the individuals that emailed me. But I wanted to, I told them that I would also answer the emails on the show, on the podcast show, just in case someone else uh, could benefit for, from it or, or may, may wonder the same thing. And so if, any, if anyone else is listening, if you would like to send me an email with a question, I, I would definitely, definitely be, be more than happy to bring it on the show and answer it live on the show so that other people can, can, hear, can hear from it as well. So one question, how long have you been in music? So I have been, well, aside from my, and it's easy for me to say my entire life, I grew up in music, I grew up around music, but professionally, I will say, I think it's easy to, to say 23 years. I started out like a lot of people creating beats. I think, I guess they're still called that now. <laughs> I started out creating, making beats locally in an area, you know, where I live and started working with singers and um, artists, basically providing songs, uh, music for them to use in their, in their music project. So that's where I started. Uh, and things, Things progressed throughout the years as I learned more and started becoming more uh, experienced in a lot of areas musically. And I started meeting different people and just picked up a lot of new tips. So 23 years, it's a long time. And I, I don't I don't look for it ever ending. I can't see right now I, I, the fire still burns just as much as it as it did from day one. 
hopefully another 23 more years, if not longer. How did you start making sounds? I I guess they probably meant um, maybe how and when, uh, how it came about. But I've always made it. I've always made sounds. Um, I think from the original question was, you know, how, how long have I been in music? So as long as I've been in music, I've made sounds. But if it's, I think they're more, they're referring to the sound design and the sound effects. It's the same thing to me. Basically the same. I'm just creating something. I'm using something to create something. It's still music. It's a different type of music. It may sound noisy to some people, may sound terrible, but so does a lot of music. Some people think classical music or heavy metal or rock and roll or rap music, country music. I can keep going and keep going. Polka music. A lot of people think that sounds terrible <laughs> or they or they think it's noisy. Sometimes you, if you play that, someone may cover their ears. But the same with making sounds and sound design. Some things that sounds that I can create or sounds that I do create. May, may cause other people to cover their ears and may be cringeworthy, but it's the same to me. It's sounds and music are the same because they're all sounds. They're just created differently by different people. Everyone has their own formula just as I do. So I hope that answers that question. Uh, if not, hopefully if, if you're listening, the person that's, Email me that question if you are listening. If you didn't, email me back and, you know, um, I'll do my best to answer the question for you. But that's how I started. I've always done it. It's it, There wasn't really a progression in making sounds. I just changed uh, the source where I, where I would used to, where I would probably use keyboards or a guitar. Now I may use pots and pans or <laughs> anything, the wall uh, in my house, um, dropping rocks outside. So it's just the source that I'm using, but it's still the same. It still sounds. Okay. And the last question is, what equipment do I need to start recording my own sounds? Is actually a good question. Well, now to make sounds, you don't really need any equipment because the world is the jukebox. You can use any sound that you that that you come in contact with. Any object can make a sound. But how to what equipment you 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 need is well. If if you see my video, my Instagram, you see that I have several microphones that I use and I have several recorders that I use. I don't think they're visible in the microphones, but I do have several recorders and several different types of microphones. But actually all you need is just, is a cell phone. You can use your cell phone. I still use mine when I'm out. If I don't have my microphones, which I don't always bring a microphone. Well, I always bring something to record, whether it's, um, uh, Sometimes it's a small microphone or if I just leave and go someplace, I forget, I'll forget about it, but I'm just, I may be sitting in my vehicle and I just, I hear something. I was like, oh, okay. I don't have my microphone, but in order to not miss out on that sound, I'll just use my, my cell phone because I would say that every cell phone now or every smartphone now has some type of recording app that comes with it. And so just use your phone. I would start there. You don't need much. You can do everything that I do or you may see other sound designers do. You can do it with your cell phone. I still do it. I still use it all the time. So hopefully that helps. And if you if you're listening and 
If you need more information, feel free to email me back. Be glad to help you out. Okay, so let's get on with this week's sound. And th this is a more recent sound that I created uh, from from run of, from uh, a recent video. So we'll talk about that. And you probably, if you hear it, you probably already know what it is just by listening to it. It's pretty. It's not. It's not really a a mysterious sound. Uh, I think it's pretty easy to uh, to to pick apart and dissect what it is. But if not, be great conversation. So let's go ahead and play that sound, and I'll come back and. We will discuss it. I just love those, just the quiet, eerie sounds. It's, it's, it's like you're, you're just quiet, you're quiet and all I hear is just the cold chill of eerie darkness. I mean, it's not my personality, but I, but I do love those sounds because when, when I, when you hear well, when I hear those sounds, those sounds, you, I, you always hear them in the movie, but it's always something that causes you to sit still. You know, something is about to happen. That's usually, uh, you know, it's it's on the horror side or it's a chilling side. You you can just it makes you sit still, and those sounds are. I, I like I like creating those sounds, and I know the music behind it helps helps you to help. Well, it helps me to paint that picture of something cinematic. So what that what it what it is is, and it wasn't even. I was just playing around one day. Um, I had an ink. It's just an ink pen, and I just placed it inside a metal. It's like a steel. Uh, washer. It's a round circular steel washer, and it just rolled it. Well, the key sound, the key, the the key to that is the metal baking pan. I like using that because of the resonance and the vibration that it picks up. So by itself, it didn't didn't really do my ears any good, but when I use that baking pan and just roll, just allow that pan to roll and rotate, swing back and forth until it, you know, it started out as slow. Then the shorter the uh, the shorter the motion became, the faster the sound. So that's interesting, also. So that you know, couple. You know, using that something simple as in just an ink pen and a metal washer. Something that simple. It doesn't take much. Like I said earlier, the world is the jukebox. You don't have to have a musical instrument. Sounds are the instrument. I mean, I have musical instruments and I utilize them when I'm creating music along with sounds, but that anything, something that simple is an instrument. For example, just clapping my hands, that's an instrument because that's a sound. Every sound <laughs> creates something. So something that simple as an ink pen, a metal washer, <laughs> Can go a long way because if you, if you hear it, I'll play it again. Like always, I will play it again before I exit the show. Just something simple and pairing up, pair, pairing it up with 
This is simple cinematic underscore. Just create something chilling. Just that that entire sound. And, it, and when you listen, if you're watching a movie and it's maybe it's a suspenseful movie or a, a crime related movie or even a horror movie, if you like horror movies, pay attention to the background music that's playing underneath those scenes. It's it's usually a, a simple sound, one focus sound and the music underneath to create that environment. And that's what I did with this sound. Next week, if we make it to next week, if you if I see you next week on the show, it'll be the same thing. I'll just create I'll make some, choose something simple to create something that create something that's nice. <laughs> I'll say that just to create something nice from something simple. Doesn't have to be a lot. And what I'll probably what I may do once as a challenge. I'll since I mentioned it to this person that emailed me, I'll record a sound with my just using only my cell phone. And I will create a sound effect and or some sound design based off of what I create what I captured from my cell phone. And I'll bring it to the show and showcase and share it with everyone and talk about that as well. So before we go, I'll play the sound once more to let you hear it again. Maybe think about, I want, you know, just maybe, maybe you can just visualize that ink pen rolling around back and forth or swinging back and forth inside of a metal pan. See if you can visualize it and hear it. Hear what's going on. Yeah. That's eerie, uh, but it's it's simple. That was a really simple sound. Very simple. But thank you guys for showing up once again. Thank you for supporting my podcast show. I appreciate it. And hopefully we will see you next week for a new episode. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this episode, and you would like to help support the podcast, please share it with others, post about it on social media, or leave a rating and a review. To catch all the latest from me, you can follow me on Instagram at said Black or via my website at cedricblack.com. Thanks again, and I will see you next time.